guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making this painting. There's a peacock and its wings. Are you ready? Get set and let's go! To make a peacock painting, all you need is a paint tray, a ruler and a pencil, a canvas, some fairy dust, one coin to draw the head, and two chalk, and paint of course, and brushes. Let's get started. Let's draw the peacock. Let's start with the coin. We are going to use the coin to do a circle for the peacock's head. Now we are going to do the beak. It's just a triangle. And then start from here and then go like this. And then again, start from here and go like this. And then do some wings like this. Now I'm going to draw the wings of the dancing peacock. And do you know when peacocks are dancing, it looks like the wings are disco lights. But to draw the wings, I'm going to put the ruler on one place of a canvas and then do it like this. I'm going to put some diagonal lines. I'm using chalk because it can be rubbed away from canvas. If I make a mistake. Now, let's color the head and neck of the peacock turquoise. If you don't have turquoise, you can mix blue and green. Now let's do the peacock's wings green. The woman is light green. And the Bottom one is dark green as you can see. They're actually both quite dark. I said light because that one's lighter than this one. Now, let me do the bottom of this a different color. Now let's turn the canvas around and do turquoise orange pattern. But first I'm going to do all the oranges and then turquoise. We are done with orange. Let's start with the turquoise. Now we are done with the wind. Let's wait for it to dry. Now the painting is dry. Let's get started with the patterns in the wing. I asked my mom to cut out some balloon shapes. I'm going to put them randomly on the painting and then I'm going to trace the surrounding for the tool.
Now I'm going to trace the surrounding with a tool. I have to paint it all white. drawing for 30 minutes. My balloon shapes are all dry. Let's start making patterns inside. It's like this, then like this, and do it with a chalk. Now I'm gonna do the outermost part of these Patterns the green. Now it's my favorite part. It's the glitter. I'm gonna quickly put the glitter on. Now I'm done with the glitter. I'm gonna paint orange in this next place. It's time for glitters again! Now I'm using purple glitter. Last thing I'm gonna do is blue in the center. Now, I can do the last glitter. It's blue. Let's leave it to dry for one hour. The painting's all dry. It's time to draw the outlines with a black permanent marker. I have to trace these lines. Now I'm gonna do the last ones, the blue parts. We should do this part. Like this, and then a little dot. Like this, and then a little dot. Like this and then a little dot. Now I'm going to use triple zero to do a little dot in the center for the eye here. Like this. Now let's do the bead. Now with the turquoise, I'm going to fix this. See you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.